All right, so Jordan, we want to talk about this idea of a sacrificial king. And I'm excited to talk about it because a few videos ago, we talked about the conquering king. Mm -hmm. And for some people, that can kind of not play well. But by introducing this idea of a sacrificial king, um, it sort of shows Jesus in the unique light um, amongst other kings. So can you just kind of elaborate on that idea for us a little bit? Yeah, I think when we think about that, we got to go straight to that word sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What do kings do to protect themselves? You have food tasters, you yeah. have soldiers, you got bodyguards. Everything is about keeping them safe. Yeah. They won't allow anybody to kill them. When we get to Jesus, our king, we don't see that at all. He had no bodyguards. He lived out completely defenseless from all sorts of trials. Yeah. And even more than that, not only did he not take those steps to protect himself, mm -hmm. He sacrificed himself for his servants, completely opposite to what all other kings do. Amen. And that's why, uh, you know, our emblem for Jesus the King this year is this crown that's not just a kingly crown, but the other half of it is a crown of thorns, that there's a subversion and this service of God who who loves us so much that he comes down, condescends, and becomes man mm -hmm. and gives us life for it. So that's truly um, a unique factor of who our king is. Thanks, Jordan.